um, there's a good chance that it may never happen again and that UNO's planning on moving to Division One, and not only that, they're going to drop uh, wrestling and football both. Students and athletes at UNO are in shock and disbelief. Camp, uh, when we looked at but they're dropping this two, two of our top three sports, so it just, I'm appalled by it. To be a good school, you need a football team. I'm pretty sure it hasn't gone through student government or any other, other student organizations, so I don't, I don't know how they can claim that they have student support for something that no students have known about. While UNO football hasn't been as strong in the last couple of years, they were conference champs in 2004, 05, 06, and 2007. It's, it's one thing to, uh, to finish your eligibility and to end the call it off and, and say, you know, I've done my best and I've given what I can and this is where it ends. And there's quite another to have somebody else step in and make the decision for you. As for UNO wrestling, well, the stats speak for themselves. Six Division II championships in the past eight years. And just last Saturday, they captured their third straight championship in a row. Now, this is not going to go down without a fight. I can definitely tell you that. So we're coming. We're coming hard. Definitely for the wrestling and football, like people like watching those. So it's kind of a downside, especially now that we have our good stadium built. With the move to Division I, UNO drops its football and wrestling. But they tell us they're looking forward to bringing on a new men's soccer and golf team. Clark Young, Fox 42 News.